So you do have options. So when you're told that you have kidney disease, don't think that you don't have options. You have options. So patients that would like to dialyze at home within DaVita have multiple options, and two of those options for home are peritoneal dialysis and home hemodialysis. There are certain advantages of doing it at home. More flexibility with your schedule, more independence, the ability to kind of be in more control. The power of home has tremendous impact uh, and meaning to our patients. If you think about managing chronic disease, the very best place to manage disease is in the home environment. For people who want to be independent, control their own lives to a greater extent, being at home is a good choice because then you can control things yourself. And we know, based upon a number of studies in the medical literature, that people that treat themselves at home or manage their disease at home tend to be more happy with their life. And they're able to really place the chronic disease in its proper perspective and they don't let the disease control their life. It gives you the opportunity to live like you were living before. And whether you do home hemodialysis or home peritoneal dialysis, they both bring with them a true sense of independence. It's part of our life now. We don't know any different anymore, so it's just our daily routine. It allows me to have the freedom that I need to live a happy and healthy lifestyle. One of the awesome things um, that I was most happy about after I got the diagnosis of kidney failure is that um, I would still be allowed my adventurous spirit and I would still be able to travel and um, kind of navigate around the world as, as I would like to be a globetrotter. You don't have to worry about arranging a dialysis unit in another part of the country or trying to think about, well, what is their quality? I mean, what's their team like? You take everything with you and, and you do exactly what you do at home when you're on the road. As long as you give a couple weeks notice uh, to the folks that supply uh, your supplies to you when you're traveling, uh, they'll make sure that those supplies are waiting there when you get to the door. So whether you're going to a hotel or you're going to your friend's house in Omaha, Nebraska, you know, they are uh, going to have those supplies there for you as soon as you get there. We love vacations. You know, we haven't taken one in a while because he was on hemo, but we're planning a big trip this month, so we're, we're excited about it. Now I do it at night before I go to bed, and it just gives me the freedom to get up and be able to treat patients in the morning and work in the afternoon and have some time off. I'm a high school basketball coach. I'm the head coach. I really enjoy it. I've been doing it for 38 years, and I love working with kids. And with me being on home dialysis, it allows me to do it. Continuing to work is important for me because it, it, uh, it makes me feel useful. In, in real estate, I've always gotten a lot of uh, uh, joy out of being able to get people their first home and things like that. It's, it's satisfying. There really was no transition. When I learned that I had to go on dialysis, I was working at the time. And uh, I never even thought that I would stop working. Uh, the job that I have is actually a fairly physical job. I'm, I'm not sitting at my desk, you know, eight hours a day. I'm out and about. Going into PD was just a natural fit for me and I didn't even once think about not working. Patients do tend to have uh, more opportunity to change and vary their diet uh, from both a fluid and a food perspective. Um, again, that varies greatly and is indi uh, individual to each patient. We eat um, like we eat, you know. It's, you know, he has some restrictions but they're good restrictions. It's something that we all should do. So it's not nothing that's, you know, out of the ordinary. The thing I've noticed with being on home hemo, I've been able to drop the blood pressure meds in half in a month that I've been on it. Since he's been on home dialysis, he has the same energy, has the same stamina. You know, when you first get diagnosed with this, you get, it's a depression that you get because you don't think you're know, able to do the same thing, especially on hemo. We do see a reduction um, in some medications. So in some patients' uh, instances, some patients may experience a reduction in things like blood pressure medications. And it doesn't, it doesn't affect me at all. I never get tired of anything with home dialysis at all. Actually, it makes you feel better. The 
best sources of information. One is to talk to your kidney doctor, your nephrologist, but secondly, you should talk to other patients. I think having a real patient perspective, somebody that's in your shoes from an illness perspective that can tell you their experience. And they can share with you some of their challenges, some of the things that they would urge you to think about. Immediately I just kind of began asking questions about it and talking to people that had been on dialysis. And once I did that, I was like, I think I can probably manage this. I've managed a lot of things in my life and this is just one more thing to, to put on the list.